February is both Heart Month and Black History Month, and one problem on the radar for both segments is high blood pressure and how it disproportionately affects African Americans. We are in a predominantly African American city, and here to chat with us about how we can monitor and protect our heart health is Dr. Robert Wegner, a bariatric surgeon at St. Francis in Bartlett. Welcome, Dr. Wegner. Hi. Nice to see you. So we were just talking about the prevalence of, of high blood pressure and, and hypertension. Can you just talk about what you see in your daily uh, practice? So in the Mid-South area, you know, morbid obesity and hypertension go hand in hand. Uh, this particular area of the country is, you know, hard hit with, um, you know, morbid obesity and hypertension. What, you know, they go, kind of go together. So you can't treat one without treating the other. So, you know, what I really want to express um, with this study that I'm gonna talk about here, this gateway trial, is you have to, to treat the underlying obesity to treat the blood pressure also. Wow, okay, so explain what a bariatric surgeon does and then tell us about your, your trial. So uh, bariatric um, is, is, a, is a term that you know, refers to weight loss surgery. I like to refer to it more now as metabolic surgery because mm. um, it's really that's what it is. I'm changing the actual metabolism of the body and influencing the hormones that cause uh, obesity. Um, and when I do the surgery, whether it's gastric bypass or gastric sleeve, I'm you know changing those pathways that for satiety and hunger metabolism that you know have a direct correlation to somebody being overweight or obese. Um, the latest study that I want to talk about is called the Gateway Trial. Um, this study looked at 100 patients over five years. It's the only randomized controlled study that ever compared surgery versus medical treatment for high blood pressure. And so they followed these patients for five years and what they've recently come out with and said and found at the end of the study was that 86.5% of the patients that had surgery, in particular Roux-en-Y gastric bypass, had a greater than 30% reduction in their medication burden after five years. So they reduced the amount of medication they were taking versus the medical arm that were just treated with medication only had a 12.5%. Additionally, the patients that had surgery had a 20 times greater chance of being in complete remission. So in other words, no medication, their blood pressure being 140 over 90 or less without any medication just from the surgery alone. Not to mention the average BMI after surgery was mm, around 28 versus the non-surgical group, their, their BMI was still 36. And your BMI should be what? Normal BMI is 25 and under. Mm -hmm. 20, 25 to, tw to 30 would be overweight, and then 30 to 35 would be class one, 35 to 40 class two, and over 40 is class three in, in the stages of obesity. Okay. So you, sur surgical candidates yeah, yeah. start at 35. Oh, okay. So BMI stands for body mass index. Now. You can calculate that, it's an, on, your, on your phone with an app. <laughs> if your number is greater than 35, you are a surgical candidate. Whether you have diabetes or high blood pressure or sleep apnea or not, that number alone, 35 or greater, puts you into a surgical category. Under 35, you're still considered in that medical management for, for, the, for the obesity or overweight. But over 35, you've got to consider surgery as the first line treatment. Well, you say access to surgery is a barrier. It is. Unfortunately, um, you know, surgery, you know, there's, there's misconception to it and the access to it also with insurance. Um, you know, there's cash pay prices for all these surgeries, but, you know, most people go through insurance. Um, Medicare does cover bariatric surgery, metabolic surgery. Um, they don't cover a lot of medications. So, you know, right now we're being inundated, I think, on our social media, TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, with all these new medications that are out there. Unfortunately, they're not covered by insurance. They're not covered by Medicare. They're anywhere from $800 to $1,200 a month for these medications. Not to mention, I don't think the patients are being told that this hormone, this GLP-1, you have to take it for the rest of your life, every week for the rest of your life, five years, 10 years, 15 years. You cannot stop it. And that's that the weight loss shot. I know we have like 30 seconds yes, left, but, but um, it's similar to to, to uh, birth control pills. Gotcha. You go off birth control pills, you lose the efficacy of the pill. You go off this medication, you lose the effects of the medication. Gotcha. And so, anything that you could say uh, for prevention um, that you tell your patients for you know just to maybe if you can't get to that uh, point where you do surgery. 
Well, I see patients that need surgery. Mm -hmm. if, they're, if they're under 35, using those weight loss drugs is probably a very good way to lose the weight. But aside at, from like, you know, the exercise, diet, exercise and diet. all the things we've been told over our whole and over life, again. <laughs> which turn, come to find out, we have now acknowledged, and I've known for decades, but now they're acknowledging that obesity is a hormonal disease. You can't just diet and exercise these things away. It's like, you know, hormonally, you can't change that. Surgery changes the actual hormones that control obesity, which is why it's so effective and why it's still the gold standard for treating obesity. And how do people reach out to you as we wrap up here? Easy. MemphisWeightLossSurgery.com. Oh, I think you can't go wrong. Remember that. St. Francis Hospital, my clinic's on Wednesdays. Come and see me. Okay. Oh, so you have a client. What time of day? Wednesday, 9 o'clock. 9 o'clock. You can go okay. online, make an appointment. MemphisWeightLossSurgery.com. It's all there. There's some great testimonials from patients and all the information's there. Thanks. I never really understood it and said I'm, I'm getting what you're saying. Thank yes. you. Yes. Thanks for coming. My pleasure. Me. All right.